Merry Christmas to you all beautiful people. Well, today do not go away because this is one like one video you will not want to miss out on anything because we are going to be cooking from start to finish my Christmas dinner for my family. Keep watching. So on the menu, we have some dole, it's a Cameroonian delicacy, fried rice, slow roasted pork ribs, air fried chicken, grilled fish, boiled plantains, miyondo, pepper sauce, and radish cucumber salad. Right here is everything we are going to be cooking from start to finish. But keep watching because it is like, I don't know, you're going to enjoy me cook like massive cooking for Christmas. It was so tiring, but trust me, it was worth it because whatever you see in this video was like demanded by my family. If you're new here, special welcome to you. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification. And trust me, you're going to love my recipes. So first off, we have to start by making our marinade. We have some green onions, some onions, some ginger, garlic, celery sticks, thyme, rosemary, bell pepper, parsley. So for this, we are going to be blending it. This marinade, we will be using it to roast our pork for the fish and the air fried chicken. So you're going to be using it for three items. So I will be adding some salt right there, some maggie, but my own maggie, I use my chicken seasoning some paprika, um, cumin powder, and right there we have some ground cloves and black pepper. Guys, this marinade is the best. Is the best, guys. But if you're interested in any of my fish marinades, I'm going to be dropping their links in the description box or you check my other um, recipes that like related to fish and you're going to love it. So I'll just marinate my chicken here and after marinating, I'll just let it marinate like for at least 30 minutes for the chicken. I love adding some smoked paprika there just to have that a little bit of smoky flavor and you can adjust the taste. If you, if the taste is not okay for you, you can adjust the taste. So right now let it rest or marinate for about 30 minutes. And for our fish, the fish I'm using here is barramundi or that's a giant sea perch. My family loves this particular fish. It is so, so delicious. First off, I'm just um, drying it, then score the fish. Then you will be marinating with our already made marinade. When marinating, you have to like marinate deep into those, those curds so that everything cooks and it's so, so tasty. So right now what I always do my fish because this fish is really large and the skin is thick I always like to like to rub on some seasoning cubes or some seasoning powder on it you can use maggi cube any bouillon cubes that you have but I'm using my chicken nose seasoning here in place of the maggi so rub that um, marinade on it when you rub the fish then you can let the fish to be marinated now as well for about 30 minutes We have our pork ribs i'm just putting some ketchup on it i will go to put some mustard on it then when i put everything i will put my marinade on it then to adjust the seasoning i'll put my no seasoning like i said before you can always adjust the taste of the marinade as you're marinating and going ahead so i'll just rub everything in there rub it perfectly and guess what i'll be adding some white wine on it 
then cover it with an aluminium foil and let it slow roast in the oven if you have any questions about this recipe just drop in the comment section and i'm going to reply asap so to adjust my taste i'll put a little bit of black pepper in there some smoked paprika it makes everything perfectly I'm just arranging everything so everything is good looking inside that baking pan and right now i put a little bit of white wine oh my goodness guys you should try out this recipe white wine in slow roasted pork oh it, it just hits the spot so right i'm not gonna let it marinate i'll just cover it immediately and i'll just put it inside my oven at 400 degrees fahrenheit while for my chicken drumsticks after 30 minutes it's going to go to my air fryer guys my family loves air fryer chicken drumsticks anything drumstick they love it i'm just putting some um oil spray and let it go there for about 360 degrees fahrenheit for 20 minutes so right now we have the beef this is the beef i'll be using for ndole ndole is a cameroonian delicacy where you have like blended peanuts then you cook with some bitter leaves like the bitter sweetness of everything like just gives a good blend in the food this is the beef here i'm just slicing it and ready to boil in my instant pot so it takes a shorter time to cook and to save time for me so i'll just transfer onto my instant pot right there i'll add some salt some seasoning cubes or my no seasoning which i use as maggie with some water and let it boil so for the onions i always put onions in my boiled beef for extra flavor so to move on for andole, another ingredient is this blanched peanuts. We use this peanut, boil it for about 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, it has been perfectly boiled. This is it. I just transferred onto my blender with some, with some water. I'm going to blend until it is smooth. Then I will get on to cook my andole. Andole, guys, is one meal we enjoy in Cameroon. Like household, enjoy this meal. And this is my favorite meal, Cameroonian meal. Dole is my favorite. I don't miss cooking it in any occasion or in any big day. So it has been blended onto our air fried chicken. I will just flip the sides and it's going to go back and the other side is going to grill. Before it goes back, I am going to spray some cooking oil. And after that time, fully cooked. And yeah if you want some detailed recipe i'm going to drop in the description box why for our pork slowly roasted i'm just going to be basting with some of that oil or some of that um, gravy in there so keep basting so it stays moist or juicy throughout grilling so at this point i'm going to be grilling it at this point the first time i baked and this is how it's looking after grilling guys everything is gonna be so fast because this video is almost about one hour i just had to like cut everything to save time so our beef has been fully cooked just cut into chunks or into the sizes you want to cook it or the sizes you prefer and then let's get on to cook our andole So in a hot pot, I'm just adding some cooking oil. First, I will start by frying the beef. I always do this when I want to cook my dole. I fry the beef when it is boiled or sometimes I air fry it. Either way, I just like to do it. But if you don't like this method, you can skip this part and just cook your dole and put the beef, boiled beef inside. I will just stir everything so all the sides have a dark brown color. I took out the beef and I'm sauteing some onion in there. I will now bring in those blended blanche peanuts in there. 
Then for the broth, I will be adding the beef broth. That's the water in which I used in boiling my beef. So the water already has some salt and some seasoning cubes. But while you're cooking ahead, you can always taste to adjust it. I just added some ginger and garlic paste. Some crayfish is going in there right now. Adding some salt. I'm just adjusting the taste based on my own preference because the broth already had some maggi and um salt so just now adding the remaining broth then cover the pot and let it cook for like 10 minutes before you can bring in the washed bitter leaves So the washed bitter leaf comes in at this point. Guys, if you want the detailed recipe of this ndole, I'm going to be dropping the link in the description box. This, um, my massive cooking today is just like a guide or just to show you guys what I cooked for this recipe. But if you're interested in anything I did here today, maybe you can um, ask a question in the description box, sorry, in the comment section, and I'm going to reply as soon as possible because I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to be dropping like each and every recipe in the description box. On to the fried rice, my favorite part. My kids love my fried rice. I just added some cooking oil. And here I have some beef liver. I'll just fry it until it has a dark brown color. Guys, if you've never ever tried like um, fried liver for fried rice, I think that's something you should definitely try it. And trust me, you're going to come back to thank me. And let it fry for like 10 minutes until brown. We take it out. Now I just added some garlic in there there's some onions i just added in there saute everything let it cook for about a minute or two then i will bring in my yellow bell pepper you can use any bell pepper of your choice i just had yellow bell pepper so i just decided to use it just stir everything let it cook my seasoning like maggi cubes black pepper thyme some oregano and some paprika the paprika i'm going to be using a lot because i always love that smoky flavor the paprika i'm using is a smoked paprika it's not just it's not the normal paprika it's a smoked paprika some curry powder goes in i'm using the jamaican curry powder but you can use any curry powder of your choice so stir everything stir everything perfectly so everything is perfectly combined then you can now add in the carrots the peas and the corn Bring in the already cooked rice, then stir everything perfectly. At this point, just turn off the heat, then add in the green onion and the liver and stir until everything is well combined. The rice has been perfectly cooked, just set aside until when it is time to serve. The fish has been perfectly marinated. Transfer onto a grilling pan, then spray some oil on it and let it roast or grill or broil in the oven 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes each side. So for our size here, I will be using some Miyondo. Miyondo is a Cameroonian delicacy. It is made from ground um, yucca roots or cassava, then wrapped in leaves and boiled. For the plantains, this is ripe plantains. I'm just going to boil it. 
boil it with some water some people love adding salt to their plantains while boiling but i always skip adding salt to my ripe plantains the fish has been cooked the first side i'm just rubbing some marinade this marinade what i did was i just added some oil on the marinade and i microwaved for about six minutes do not use raw marinade on already cooked fish please guys don't use raw marinade because this marinade i microwave i will be using it at the end of the grilling of the fish so i just flip the sides right now and i will be rubbing in my already microwaved marinade on it this is just to keep the fish moist or juicy throughout grilling some oil spray on there and right now i will start serving some of the dishes i'll just serve the rice So our last meal here, we have some salad, some radish, cucumber, and carrot salad. I'm just going to cut them in like circular shapes. If you have like a machine or anything that can cut them to ease the job for you, you can go ahead. I'm going to be using this grater for my radish. Guys, I love radish too. Radish is one of those veggies that are so, so, so healthy. So yeah, I'll just arrange it into a pan when properly arranged i'll just set it to rest inside my refrigerator let it get chilled for the dressing anyone in my family like each person has their own dressing the like i love the poppy seed scissor my family loves the vinaigrette and the funny thing is my kids eat salad with ketchup yeah salad with ketchup like it's so funny and right here everything has been set to the table the table is ready for everyone to set in and eat as you want guys let me know in the comment section how you enjoy your christmas what did you cook what did you do let me know and now this is the time to serve So guys, as you can see, we served the food, we ate, we merry, everything was so good. We merry, jolly, holly, <laughs> like the Christmas was a perfect one. I was so happy I made it to this time. So thank you so much for watching and to meet again in my next video. Bye for now and keep trusting my recipes.